Servus everyone and welcome to another video. Today I will try to fix a VGA loop cable that came with a Voodoo One card. It seems that there is a loose connection on one of the pins. With a multimeter in resistance testing mode, I can identify the pin and the approximate location where the cable may be broken. By bending the cable back and forth, the loose wire makes contact and the resistance drops. The cable goes back in high resistance when I let it go. So my bet is that this connector is the one that has the loose wire. Just to be sure that the loose wire is at this location, I will bend and unbend the wire multiple times. The increase and decrease in resistance is reproducible. So I'm pretty sure that the problem is exactly at this location. In this state, the wire does not deliver the correct color information to the screen and the output looks something like this. Before I open the wire, I have to say that it was very difficult to cut the wire open. If you do something like this, you have to be very careful. One reason is obviously to not hurt yourself, but another reason is that you do not want to cut more wires in the cable. It took me about 5 minutes to open one side of the connector head. Now with the rubber part gone, I can continue to remove the shielding of the wire. The tape that was used here was very sticky and the wires underneath the shield were surrounded by hot glue. So there are more things to remove before we get to the root of the problem. And don't forget you always have to be careful to not damage any other wires. Finally we are making some progress. I was lucky enough to remove the hot glue exactly at the location where the disconnected wire is. Of course I hope that this is the wire that was damaged before I started working on this cable. The plan is to solder an extension to the connector and then resolder the wire to the extension. Once the wire is reconnected, a short test with a multimeter will ensure that the problem is fixed. And finally? A small piece of shrink wrap will prevent the extension to make contact with nearby wires. Once all of this is done, we can repackage the wire and test it on a PC.
So was it actually worth it to open up this wire? Probably not. However, it was still interesting to look inside this wire and see how it is manufactured, what the problem was and to apply a fix. Now one last test to make sure that the wire is really working again. This is the lowest resistance I have measured so far. In a future video I will use this Voodoo 1 card with this cable I just fixed and dive into the world of 3D accelerators for the mainstream market. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.